Hi, Keith from My Point Exactly here. Sometimes when you're planning a trip, you need options based on where you are in your route at the time. In our last video, we looked at a method for adding a refuel stop along a route, using a truck driver as an example. I'll continue that truck theme in this video. The premise is that I have 10 hours available to me to drive today, and I must be off the road and resting before I hit that limit. I'd like to stay at a hotel tonight, but I also want to maximize my driving time. Traffic is an unknown, so I'm not exactly sure where I'll be at the end of my 10 hours available drive time. I need options. I'll use Streets and Trips Search Along a Route Segment feature to produce a list of hotels on the stretch of highway where I'm likely to be at the end of 10 hours, whether traffic is light or heavy. Now even though this video is based on a trucker, the technique absolutely applies to all Streets and Trips users. Whatever you're looking for at a specific point in your trip, a hotel, a meal, or an attraction that won't take you too far off your route, this feature will help you plan it. In this example, I'm traveling from Boston to Jacksonville. I click on the Route Planner button, enter Boston Mass, and choose Add to Route. It's the first choice in the place list and is already highlighted, so I click OK to add it as my route start. I do the same for Jacksonville, Florida. And then I click Get Directions. Now I click on the More Options button here in the Route Planner pane. I'm leaving at 5 a.m., so I adjust my Start Driving At time to match. I don't want streets and trips to break the driving into different days, so I change my End Driving At time to 5 a.m. as well. And I choose None for flexibility. Now my directions to Jacksonville will just show the total hours. Next I click the Expand or Collapse Directions button in the Directions pane. My absolute stop driving time is after 10 hours, which is 3 p.m. So I scroll down in the Directions list to find something close. Here's an instruction at 2.58 p.m., close enough. I double click on the instruction with my left mouse button and zoom in to the highway exit number. Left click the exit number to select, then right click and choose Route. Add a stop. Note it places the stop correctly in between Boston and Jacksonville in the Route Planner. Since there's been a change, the Directions pane instructs me to click this line to update directions, and I do so. Now I estimate where I might need to start looking for a hotel based on unexpected traffic problems. There's plenty of opportunity to get delayed on this travel corridor. For this day, I think if I look for options starting two hours before my out of hours time, I should be okay. So again, I scroll down the directions pane until I find an instruction around 1 p.m. Here's one at 1.03 p.m. That'll do. Again, I double click on the instruction and zoom in to the exit described. Left click to highlight, then right click, route, and add a stop. See that this exit has been placed in the route planner above my driving stop time. To make it easier for me, I click my driving stop point in the route planner pane, right click, choose rename, and change the name to stop driving. Then I change my other new point to start looking. Then I again click this line to get directions as instructed. Now click on the Find Nearby Places button from the menu bar. Let's search two tenths of a mile. But instead of around a point, click the down triangle to see more options and scroll down till you see the section of your route where you want to create your hotel options. Click on Start looking to stop driving. And since all the hotel choices are going to be within two tenths of a mile off the highway anyway, I'll choose the sort alphabetically so I can choose by name. Now I click refresh. 
and I see that there are 40 hotels and motels that are candidates along my defined stretch of travel. I click the plus sign next to the category and see my options. Now I choose a couple of favorites that are within my defined window. and draw a large highlight circle around them for easy reference. Now later on in my trip, when I know which hotel I'll be able to reach within my drive time limit based on today's traffic conditions, I'll pull over, make a reservation, and add the hotel to my route. Once I've got the hotel, I can delete my start looking and stop driving points by clicking them and hitting the single X button. Once again, I click the route change line in the directions pane and I'll click on the highlight circles I drew around my hotel options and choose the delete button on my keyboard to clean up my map. So now I can continue driving with the comfort of knowing that I've got a room all set for me and I'll be able to maximize my drive time for today, making me more money. Hey, thanks for watching this video and thanks to Spades Flush over at the Laptop GPS World Forum for suggesting this tip. Come back to MyPointSales.com for more tips. If there's something you'd like to learn, drop us a line at learn at MyPointSales.com.